I'm sorry I took such a long break from YouTube, but I'm back, and today I will be remaking my video on fuming nitric acid. I'm still going to be using hardware grade ingredients just to show how cheaply it can be done, but if you want to, you can always purify them. For my potassium nitrate, I will be using stump remover that I got at the hardware store, and I'm making sure to finally grind it up after measuring out 140 grams. Once the potassium nitrate is finely ground up, I add it into a 500 milliliter round bottom flask. The next thing that we need to add to make fumium nitric acid is sulfuric acid. The sulfuric acid that I'm using here is from drain cleaner and it contains about 94% sulfuric acid. If yours contains any less and you want to purify it, there's multiple videos on YouTube showing out how to do that. And I added about 75 milliliters, you only need about 73, but I think my potassium nitrate was a little wet, so I did that so it could absorb any excess water. Next thing that you want to do is set up for a simple distillation. Make sure to always do it in a fume hood or at least outside and if you do it outside you will want to wear a gas mask because the last time I did this I did it just with a tube leading outside no fume hood at all and there was a lot of leakage of nitrogen dioxide and nitric acid vapors but gladly I was wearing a gas mask at the time so it didn't harm me at all and I did make sure to wear a gas mask here if I did anything when taking it apart it's just a good idea to be safe I would like to mention one of the things I did differently this time than in my previous video is that I coated the joints with sulfuric acid so that nothing would leak out and this did help a lot because it saved the life of my keck clamps and I didn't lose any nitric acid because of leakage. So here I'm getting my first drips of nitric acid coming over and you should start to see the nitrogen dioxide that has accumulated in your apparatus starting to clear up now and it should be clear throughout the whole distillation column. Boiling points between sulfuric acid and nitric acid is very huge. Sulfuric acid boils in the 600 degrees, so there's no concern of it coming over through this distillation because nitric acid boils around 83 degrees, and you'll see it coming over around 100 degrees because that is, it is mixed with water. There's small amounts of water, it is still fuming nitric acid. It's probably a good idea to add a cold water bath or an ice bath to your collection flask, although it's probably not necessary 
as long as you can keep the column very cool but if you start to feel the collection flask heating up you should add one once the heat is stopped on the boiling flask you will start to see nitrogen dioxide starting to be uh, created again and then just let it cool and you can disassemble the apparatus but make sure you are wearing a gas mask if there is nitrogen dioxide inside because it is not very good to breathe that in. 